Gosh, I just, it's just not my thing. Woo! One vase down, one vase down. Gee, these don't look like plastic either, but they are. Oh my gosh, those totally fooled me. They look like stoneware. Who makes you? Ooh, we got a little piece of art glass here. Now, this is a great lesson. See that label right there? That, my friends, is a fake Murano label. Oh my goodness, what do I look at first? Snoopy or the mid-century? one right here on the end. Ooh, it's got a smooth ride to it. Let's go. New color is purple. But look at this. What is this? What would you do with that? It's, I mean, it's a big arrow. It's a big, humongous arrow. But is it meant to hold something? Or is it just meant just to be a big decorative arrow? I kind of like it. This is what he just brought out. They're like little bricks. They say Book of Mormon on them. Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna get the arrow. I'm gonna do it. These plates, unfortunately, don't do a whole lot. What does that say? Spirit of 76. I think a couple companies made this. Fenton was one of them. This does not appear to be a Fenton piece. I wanna say Westmoreland made one. I like the design on this silver plate tray. It just says made in China. I see another tray over there I'm gonna go look at. But wow, somebody's silver plate collection came in. That's a WM Rogers, which is a nice one. Gosh, I just, it's just not my thing. Woo! One base down, one base down. That's a cool little piece. Niagara Falls. That's an older Niagara Falls piece too. Made in Canada. $4.99. Hmm. Dinosaurs. Okay. I think that was it on these shelves. All right, let's look at vases. What we are hoping for is a vase. I'm not seeing any vases. I don't know, maybe that was the one. Hmm. Oh, little owl. He's not old or anything. Precious pecan pie. That's too bad that there's mushrooms on it. This is an interesting... Oh, I thought that was going to have some weight to it. It has no weight to it. That's odd. Just decorative. Not old and decorative, just decorative. Little amber frosted textured made in China. Too bad that has a crack in it. That would be a really nice piece. I see one behind it though that is worth taking a peek at. That would be this one. Hmm, not for food use. Okay, newer. They didn't start putting that on things until just the last, I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm gonna have to look that up. When did they start putting that on things? It hasn't been that long. Oh, he's loose and I almost did the same thing those people did. <laughs> oh, there we go. He's just a little mask, a little terracotta. I'm gonna move you so nobody else does that because that would that would be a shame. Let's see what we got here. Lavender and tomato grow kits. Fake plants. I need some more plants like I got at um, another Goodwill that went around the pond really, really nicely. And I need a few more. So I'm on the hunt. I'm on the hunt for some, some goody plants. 
We're almost ready for turtle cam. We got the pond really looking good. We put white rock on the bottom so you can actually see the turtle and he doesn't just blend in. So that's coming soon over on my Niche Lady Critter Cams channel. If you haven't checked that out, please do. I'm just putting critter stuff over there. There is a link down in the first comment of this video. <gasps> Oh, I'm going to cry that that has a big crack. I'm just going to cry. Oh, man. Oh, man. $5.99. I still think I'm going to rescue this for $5.99, even with that crack. It's a stress crack. I don't know. That's kind of heartbreaking. I wonder if I can reinforce it from the inside. I mean, because it does display on this side really nicely. Yeah, I'm going to rescue it. See, that was over in the plastic section. So it just goes to show you gotta, you gotta check all the sections. This is, it's melamine, but it's not marked and it seems older for $3.99. Hmm, I think I'm gonna grab that too. See, these don't look like plastic either, but they are, oh my gosh, those totally fooled me. They look like stoneware, who makes you? Oh, I can't read that. Teeny, tiny, tiny print on there. That's amazing. I can't believe it. All right. Well, let's see. What are those volcano pops? Make refillable ice pops. Hmm. Hmm. Those look fun. Fill with flavor. <gasps> Hmm, I bet Rachel would like these. I bet her and I could have some fun with those. That's probably the most I've bought in the plastics in a long time. Who to thunk? Who to thunk? Oh my gosh, this store is loaded up with it too. It must have been like a clear out from some place and they distributed it to all of the Goodwills in the area. Let's see this little guy of formalities just a singleton I'm not really a big fan of formalities I very very rarely will pick it up what are you little candle wick $7.99 for one two three four candle wick pieces I have to save that we've got a little platter with a Sun on it that is 1998 almost almost that's very interesting for 4.99 okay it's going in the cart too as you can imagine my cart is getting a little precarious now this looks like a hobby piece poltroneri 2002 And then these are mid-century. Just not a super desirable pattern. Oh my goodness. And we have some peach luster wear. 15 on that one and 25 on that little set. That will be a pass. Look at this great big mason jar. Now if this had its lid, I'd be all over it. But it really needs a lid. jar got some other little smaller mason jars nice but... rux museum it's like mimics some expensive bougie antique got little corn holders 2.99 each on those kind of like these they are false scrap, but made in Mexico. You know, I look out for the false scrap that is made in USA. Got some elephants here. They look like they're the ones that are like made in Brazil. They have a really big iridescent glaze on them. Not really my cup of tea. Again, something that needs a lid. 
Gonna try to stick with complete things. More of those erasable place cards. Another one of those ruby trays. Oh, we got a little piece of art glass here. Now, this is a great lesson. See that label right there? That, my friends, is a fake Murano label. Look at how the gold isn't even all the way around. And uh, look at that cloudy, cloudy bottom. Now, that being said, for $5.99, it's not a bad piece. Uh, somebody would really like this piece, and it should sell in the $20 to $25 range. So I will go ahead and pick it up. I will actually peel that fake Murano tag off of there for sure. $0.99 cents for you? Oh my goodness, you're so cute. I think you're all there. Yeah, we'll get you. And there is a Budweiser golf bag Stein. He's eight dollars he doesn't super excite me for that price that's a newer set my goodness there's just so many things to look at tonight we got a set of leather coasters with egyptian motifs on them that's that one okay oh these are actually really cool and they are only 3.99 so yes there's peanut salt and peppers right behind it but they do have some chips their bottoms are missing their hobbyist pieces we'll leave those ah another chance at turkey salt and peppers and you actually are salt and peppers this time and you've got your stoppers so yeah we will grab you and it's quite busy in the store tonight too i'm gonna have to jump around a little bit to get where there's not a lot of people shopping at the same time I like these little Christmas tree coasters for 99 cents. Now, I don't normally pick up this kind of thing, but at 99 cents, it's kind of a, how could I not? That looks possibly like Vernon Ware, but unfortunately it's, well, number one, it's not. Um, but even if it was, without having the cups that go with it, that would not be a great item to pick up. Narumi China Pinecone. I do like the color and the... Well, actually, it's the intensity of the color in that pattern. I like it a lot. But one little dish, I'm going to leave that one behind. Because, as you can see, we are getting piled really big. Ah! That stuff should, that's my arrow. That's my arrow going uh, for a ride. We'll fix it. I know, there's some of you thinking right now, why don't you put something in your cart to keep all that stuff safe? And I can tell you, I've been doing this a lot of years and I have never, ever lined my cart and I have never, ever broken anything. It's just a good balance act. Mr. Gibson. Oh, pretty little bunny picture by Omnibus. Now, Omnibus, didn't we see that mark on the Fitz and Floyd? And it does have that Fitz and Floyd look, doesn't it? Somebody has peeled the sticker. Oh chip all right the chip keeps me from buying it but i would have bought that piece because it's very very fitz and floyd like oh my goodness what do i look at first snoopy or the mid-century i mean it's twenty dollars for the pitcher and glasses set there's one two three there's four glasses plus one smaller glass but unfortunately there's a lot of wear on the pitcher i probably would have paid the 20 bucks had that wear not been so bad. So I really like this set. But then let's look at Snoopy and Woodstock to the bunny slope for $1.99. All right, we'll grab you. I feel like I picked up some bowls recently that were very similar to that, but I'm not going to pick that one up. I'm just not going to do it. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's keep moving. All right, we now are in the crafty mishmash section. We will probably move through this rather quickly. There's a big platter down here, but it is a reindeer. Ooh, 
Look at that. Oh, it's torn. I totally would have bought that for Rachel, but that one is torn. These aren't quite as exciting. She does love her dolphins, but I don't know. Maybe. I don't even know if she needs folders like this. Okay, don't be silly, Danny. She doesn't need it. Aw, that mouse pad. Hmm. Is that a mouse pad? Oh, no, it's another folder. I thought from a distance it looked like a mouse pad. Now that would have been cool. All right. That's cute, but it's, it's more modern. It is really cute though. Cool. Organizer. No, no, I'm gonna leave it. Let's just look through this kitcheny stuff here real quick. That has gingerbread people on it. Ooh, there's quite a bit stacked on these shelves. This is a hammered aluminum part of a uh, crumb catcher, hand forged everlast metal. <gasps> oh, but I see something behind that. Look at that. And there's two. Let's grab those. Those are aluminum. Oh, they went $6 each. Well, that's a bummer. I'm not sure they're worth paying $6 each for. We'll put those back for somebody else. Take a quick peek. What, um, a toast rack. What else might be here? Oh, there's some more of these. All right, grab some more of those. And I think that's it on this shelf. Oh, let's see if there's any exciting mugs. Primitives by Kathy. Oh, it's a Santa Claus. Don't need to be picking up any Santa Claus right now. A little Mexico siesta mug. It's kind of fun. <gasps> Ooh, Indiana Jones photo tours. I wonder if that's vintage. It's kind of like a vintage feel to it, doesn't it? Hmm. Although it's not. I think that's just supposed to make you think it's Indiana Jones for the adventure photo tours. Okay, that one almost got me. It almost got me. Let's see. <laughs> are you vintage or are you just vintage inspired? I think you're just vintage inspired, but look at that. Do you guys know what that mark is? Do you know? That's anthropology. And yes, let's see, how much are you? $4.99 for an anthropology picture? Of course we'll put you in the cart. That is a really, really pretty Montana mug. America wear. That's really, oh, look at that. Wow. That's just a really stunningly beautiful mug. I don't know why I'm just, oh, it's two fifty because it's half price. I can't leave this one behind. These little, little sake cups are really, really sweet. I'm looking at these going, ooh, I could make a little miniature assemblage with these. Wouldn't that be cute to put like, I don't know, little critters or something frolicking on this little green i think <laughs> i know color me crazy i'm gonna get them i have not filled my cart like this in a very long time i'm probably gonna regret it because i gotta deal with all this stuff now but i made amazing progress in my office today and i'm feeling really good about it this is casual ceram casual ceram normandy Made in Japan for $1.99. I like it. Hmm, let's see. Now we're moving to the glassware. Oh, look, more of that pattern. I want to say it's Lido. Is it the Lido pattern? Possibly. What are you? Are you little vases? You are little vases. Let's see what the bottoms of these say. Hmm, handcrafted. That does look like a vintage tag. Gilbert Woods. Why pay more? They are kind of cute. So it'd be like $3 each because it's $6 for the pair. I'm going to grab those. All right. What else is hiding in the shelf? Oh, I see a piece of Blendo. 
Let's see if I can pull it out of there carefully. I hate that it's a singleton, but I love that it's blue and it's only $2.99. I'm going to grab it. And of course, we're going to look and see if it's got a friend in here somewhere because there's an awful lot of this mid-century glass hiding here. And there's some really, really pretty little glasses. Mm. Unfortunately, they are really, really chipped at the tops. It's unfortunate because those are really, really pretty. Okay. No more Blendo, but we're doing okay. All right, now we're in the pet section and something has caught my eye. Woof. I don't pick up very many Ray Dunn items anymore, but they are still fun. Like, don't pick it up because it's Ray Dunn. Just pick it up because it's fun and it's got some, some value depending on the price. So for four, I'm suspecting this sells in the $12 to $15 range. So still a decent pickup. We're going to get it. I think we have that game. Pretty sure. I'm going to have to ask the kids if they want to break it out and play it. We're trying now. Every Friday night is going to be kind of like our game night. We've made a pact. We've decided as a family we need to spend more time just having some fun together. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Oh my goodness, look at all these patterns. Holy smokers, that's a lot of patterns. Crafty stuff. Got a watermelon slice pinata. Fun, fun, but not something we need. So we keep looking. Nothing in the bathroom section. Nope, nothing here. All right, I'm gonna skim through their furniture section. And I do see something over here. Look at these little old school desks. They're asking $80. Look at, look at this, like, oh, can you just imagine the kids sitting in these? The one sits and, ugh. I mean, if they tried to do this right now with kids, they'd be pulling hair and doing some really naughty things. Kids just aren't the same. They're just not the same anymore. That's a pretty little mosaic plant stand, but it is 40. That's kind of a cool couch. 100 bucks, ooh. Look at that. Bougie, bougie candle. Mmm, art blaze. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's got a little damage to it. Fire pit. <gasps> Are those old? No. Okay. Antiques road show. So they're replicas is what they, yeah, because it, from a distance, this looked like it was, um, why can't I think of it? Why can't I, I know, I know. This artist, um, I actually have some of their pottery and I can't think of it. I'll pop it up here on the screen. But anyway, these are reproductions of that. And from a distance, they they made me hold my breath for a second. I really thought I had found something really awesome. All right, um, I left my cart all the way over there. Let's go find it. Okay, art, art, art. Let's see what is gonna grab our attention. This grabbed my attention, but it's a print. It's not a painting. What do we got in here? Got a naughty cartoon that I can't show you. Little, that's kind of a cool world map kind of thing. I'm looking for something vintage. I'm looking for something cool. Is it here? I don't know. I do like the jazz band metal wall hanging set. Those are kind of interesting. Mm. All right, I don't think anything's too tempting tonight. All right, I did find a couple things as I used both my hands to go through. This is a vintage print of Jesus. You can see there in the very, very tiny, tiny print. Uh, I can't even, I can't, I know. A lot of people say I should carry a loop and stuff. I don't need to, actually. I will tell you what it is by when I'm editing and putting it on the screen. 
um, but it's copyright 19, I want to say it's 68 or 78, and it's a litho. See, I don't need that information in order to know I want to purchase it for $9. And then these are half price, so they're $2.50 each. It's Fort, Forte White Fun is the name of this one. Forte Floating Island, and look what it is. It is a turtle. And then this one is Forte The Lookouts. I think these are incredible. I'm picking them up. This piece is really interesting too. It's $24.99. I like the frame. I kind of like a lot of stuff about that. Oh, you've got an art connoisseur there, which is which is the million dollar piece. Ken, you gotta find it for us. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're so sweet. Hello, hello. <laughs> All right, I'm contemplating this piece too because it's really, really beautiful. It is a print and it is signed Donald Vam. I see Donald Vam is what I see. It is a numbered, it's 840 of 2000. 2000 is not a hugely desirable amount in a print, but it's really, really got a nice, just a serene kind of feel to it. And it's only 5.99, so yep grabbing this too. All right, we're gonna just take a quick peek because there are so many vintage items in this store tonight. I would be remiss in not giving the small art a once over. Let's see. Oh, a little steampunk guy, Studebaker, 1917. You are $7.99. I feel like that's worth it. Another really nice little stein up here. I just don't usually do much with these steins, but I like the colors in it. That really deep cobalt blue. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. I do like that song. I remember being up on stage when I was little teeny weeny. I bet my mom will comment on this video. Um, I I don't know how old. She'll, she'll say how old I was. But we had a guy named the Nickelodeon. And the Nickelodeon would play. And I'd be over there like dancing and singing next to him. And then people would clap. And I always thought it was for me. Maybe that's where I kind of got my first little taste of being on stage and doing theater and acting and singing and all that stuff. It started early. I do see a couple of vintage pieces that are a little bit interesting. Grandma and Grandpa's open daily, specializing in cookies and milk, hugs and kisses, great stories and sleepovers. That is a Trinity pottery piece out of Wisconsin. I don't see a price. I know they'll put a good price on it for me. I will take it. I see something down here. Well, it looked more interesting before I uncovered it. But what is this piece here? Who am I? Piper Rain Press. Boldly be. Whatever is in you to be, whatever you love is your fire. Ignite it, trust it. It is a gift born of your spirit. Be it in words, dance, color, or song. Have absolute faith in what you have been given. Chase it, no matter how elusive. Be it, however challenging. Pursue it without pause. Seek to boldly be what is in your heart to be. That is beautiful. And it's only $2.50? I think that's gonna go up on my wall. Okay, I found a whole bunch of these little prints. This says vowels, and then this one, says conjunction and this one says the paths of learning strewed with flowers english grammar illustrated and that one says verb those are fantastic for two dollars each i am intrigued by these they're on burlap and they're dina circa 1979 but they are 7.99 each and i think they're probably only worth like 15 to 20. So I'm going to leave those. I'm going to make sure I haven't left behind any of the little grammar ones since there are so many and I found them on two different shelves. 
All right, I think I did get them all. That's a nice little, um, it's a, it's a painting that is just like a, a home piece. Oh my gosh, here's more of these. I always pick these up because for some reason they sell really, really well. So $3.99 for the purple roses, yes. And then I saw this and I can tell right away there's something old in there. Look at that sweet little needlepoint. Is that needlepoint? I think it is. And then there's one with birds, $1.99 each. We'll go ahead and grab those two. Let's see if there's any lamps, like I would have room to put a lamp in this cart right now. But we have to look, Let's see what these are over here. Little scent diffusers maybe? Yeah, nothing too exciting. You know, just about everything ends up at Goodwill at some point. How about a, uh, a pedicure chair? Look at that beautiful clock made out of burl wood. And it's made with a pendulum. Oh, that's really nice. 1970s, I think, is when these were super popular. And uh, they're asking $39.99, which is not a bad price for that at all. All right, let's look in the pillows. I do see some old needlepoint pillows. Definitely has some age on it. Hmm, how much are you? Are you $3.99 each? There's a monkey and a rabbit. We will grab those. We'll make sure there's no more. They have a little bit of like a dusty smell, so we're gonna have to figure out how to maybe just run those through the dryer and shake off the the dust from the years, but that's also an indication of their age, so I'm not gonna fault them for it too much. Alright, I don't see any others. Nope, I think that's it. I'm gonna peek through their miscellaneous linens real quick. I have found some pretty amazing things at this store in the miscellaneous linens. Although nothing's really pulling me tonight. Mm, nope. Nope, buddy, nope, nope. Ooh, pretty green tablecloths. Actually, I really like those. $2.50 each. Ooh, I just don't have a use for them. All right, we're over in the toys. I see the Venture Brothers bobblehead, the Monarch. I don't know anything about that. Definitely not my niche. We're gonna look through. I had to park my cart because it is not a one-handed steer anymore. Little Hallmark ducky. Let's see. Hmm. I uncovered all of my plush in my office today, so I am gonna be on a plush listing project here very, very soon. Look at that. Hiding up here in the toy section. Now, I don't know how old this is. It appears to have a little age on it. It'd be a dollar fifty. I mean, it's got a barcode, so it's not like super old. And there is some damage to that bow at the top, so uh, I think I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm gonna leave it. It's kind of cool though. Let me know in the comments. Do you think I should have left it, or should I grabbed it? So I did one quick pass through to see what else came out on the shelf, and I found this guy. Look how big he is. Four ninety nine. Yeah, we'll grab him. All right, it is time to head to the checkout. Stay tuned for the recap. I'm going to tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. This one's going to take a while. There's a lot of stuff in this cart. But uh, if you like to watch this kind of thing, I also sell all this stuff. So if after seeing the values, you can always send me an email. Let me know if there's something you'd like to purchase. There are directions down in the description of this video and every video on how to do that. Okay, see you after the recap.
I did not mean to do that. Oh, that is uh, about 300 bucks worth of stuff. Now, as of this, I haven't actually seen the recap. You've seen the recap. You see how much I'm going to turn this into. What an incredible score tonight. Oh, wow. Okay, well, color me happy. You know what would make me happier? is if you hit that subscribe button. That would make me happy too. It's free, it costs nothing, and I really, really appreciate it. It tells YouTube that you like what you're seeing and that you wanna see more of it. I upload daily content. So, uh, I film everything I buy. And uh, again, as I said, if you would like to purchase something from this haul, please send me an email. Instructions are right there down in the description of this video. So now I got to go and I got to get all this stuff processed in, cleaned up, and hopefully shipped out. You go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.